Assalamu alaikum dear doctors in this video I am discussing a video station so first we will watch the video then I will discuss what type of question we are expecting from this video station. So first question is that uh, describe this video. I can see an 8 month old child on average weight and height is sleeping in a hospital bed most likely having continuous sound with breathing most likely stridor both in inspiration and expiration but there is no any device like oxygen attached. The color of the child is pink there is tracheal tuck can be seen and also there is a uh, cannula on the right hand. So next question is what history you would like to ask in this patient. So the history I would like to ask first onset usually uh, in the first two months number one number two course increase in first six months then gradually disappears then duration of the illness and then increase by any position like supine position feeding crying upper respiratory tract infections decrease in prone positions. I will ask the fever weight about activity sleep and the limping anything associated with vascular lesions like hemangioma feeding during feeding any choking reflux and vomiting parental history like i would like to ask regarding gestational age prematurity natal history of ventilation and intubation previous history of hypocalcemia or dark skin mother next question what is the differential diagnosis of this patient so on dd on top is uh, this patient laryngomalacia because it increased in supine position worsen in first two months and resolved by two years the next is dd vocal cord paralysis uh, because of any birth trauma or mechanical ventilation, it double up. Subglotic stenosis, subglotic hemangioma, and laryngeal wave is another differential diagnosis. Also, DD tracheomalacia. Tracheomalacia symptoms uh, start less than two months and it is chronic wheezing. Next, DD is peritonsillar abscess. Peritonsillar abscess is associated with fever, muscle voice, and neck swelling. Muffled voice and neck swelling. Then, next, DD laryngeal papillomatosis, that is, human papilloma virus in the birth canal due to. And other DDR vascular ring and hypocalcemia. So, in shortly, the DDR on top is laryngomalacia, and other are vocal cord paralysis, subglotic stenosis, subglotic hemangioma, laryngeal wave, tracheomalacia, peritonsillar abscess, laryngeal papillomatosis, vascular ring, and hypocalcemia. Next question In this patient, what examination you would like to do? So, first, I will try not to distress the child. ABC, airway breathing circulation, vitals, hydration status, oxygen saturations. Plot on centiles, chest examination and ENT examinations if the patient is stable and search for hemangioma. So this examination I will do in this patient. Next question, what investigation you would like to do in this uh, patient? So the investigations in this patient I would like to do fiber optic laryngoscopy after ENT consultations, flexible bronchoscopy, omega shaped epiglottis, sleep study if suspected, obstructive sleep apnea, barium swallow, x-ray showing identification indentation of the esophagus serum calcium and trust insufficient echo for vascular ring so actually that is not uh, all the investigation is needed the treatment is reassurance so according to we investigate if needed next question so if you want to do bronchoscopy what are the indications of bronchoscopy in this patients the indications are of bronchoscopy are shortness of breath dyspnea choking apnea or cyanosis diagnosis uncertainty per parnatal concern and persistent more than 18 months so these are the indications of bronchoscopy next how can you manage this patient suppose that is laryngomalacia so laryngomalacia management is that reassurance that it will be improved by 18 months if severe and have reflux then antacids and reflux medications will be prescribed and if this laryngomalacia associated with apnea evaluate plus sleep study up to tracheostomy next what are the red flags this is very important red flag starts in this patient these are poor feeding, not thriving, distressed, affects sleep and persistent more than 18 months. Then, then which team is involved? If the management, uh, I will involve consultant, pediatrician, ENT, gastroenterologist and anesthesia. So this is all about this video station, laryngomalacia or neonatal stridor. Don't forget to search my comment box for important information. Please do subscribe and share. MRCPCH with Dr. Emma Chaudhuri. Thank you.